Good morning, dear students. Today we will learn chemical reactions of acid. Chemical properties of acid. In previous section we learned what is mean by acid, how to identify acid, what are the general properties of acid, what are weak acids and strong acids. Now we will start chemical properties, chemical reactions of acids. So let's start. Chemical reactions of acids. My dear students, acids react with different things like metals, carbonates, alkalis, then non-metal oxides to form different products. Okay. So here in this session, we will discuss two, three chemical properties of acids. So number one, reaction of metal with acid. Any metal when reacts with acid, it will form two main products that is salt and hydrogen gas. Now salt of that respective metal, for example, metal is sodium and acid is sulfuric acid. So make salt we will get sodium salt of sulfuric acid that is sodium sulfate. Respective metal salt plus hydrogen gas, H2 gas. This is the main important product in the reaction, hydrogen gas. Here it is written, the salt form depends on the acid used. If you are using nitric acid, then nitric salt form. If you are using sulfuric acid, sulfate salt form. If you are using hydrochloric acid, chloride salt form. Depends on the acid. The anionic part of the acid will join with the metal. Here, see the reaction of magnesium with dilute hydrochloric acid. When magnesium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, it will form the respective salt, magnesium chloride. And there is explosion of hydrogen gas, bubbles of the hydrogen gas. Now, question comes how to identify the gas evolved during this reaction in hydrogen? Okay, so the conformation phase for hydrogen is when the candle that is burning candle, if we will keep it in front that in contact with the gases, bubble gases. You can see in picture that bubbles collected in soap solution when we keep the burning candle near to this. What happens? Due to that hydrogen gas, there is the formation of pop sound like crackers. So this pop sound uh, will give this idea the gas evolved is hydrogen gas. Detection of hydrogen gas test is pop sound. Second chemical properties of acid, that is reaction of acid with metal oxide. Dear students, we know that metal oxides are basic in nature, we will, which will form hydroxide ion. Means here it is nothing but the base. And base reacts with acid to form salt and water, that is neutralization reaction. So most of the metal oxides are not soluble. So to so make it soluble, we are providing little heat, so here burner is given. Here example, copper oxide, CuO. Copper oxide, when we act with sulfuric acid, we are getting the respective salt of acid, that is copper sulfate and byproduct is water. This is same like the neutralization reaction because metal oxide is basic in nature. So base reacts with acid to form salt and water. Next reaction, next chemical property of acid, reaction of acid with metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates. If it is carbonates or bicarbonates, products forms are same. Three products we will get on reaction of acid with metal carbonate or bicarbonate, that is salt, water and carbon dioxide. Three common products we will get. See here, I will explain the example of this acid plus metal carbonate. Acid plus metal bicarbonate. Acid HCl and sodium carbonate will be reduced. We are getting salt, sodium chloride plus H2O, water and CO2. We are getting salt. Three common products salt, water, and CO2. 
same reaction takes place with bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate salt then water and carbon dioxide so as it reacts with this metal carbonate or bicarbonate to form salt water co2 okay now here reaction of acid with metal carbonate carbon dioxide gas is released so how to detect that carbon dioxide gas when we pass that carbon dioxide gas into lime water that is calcium hydroxide it turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate so these are all the reactions we discuss reaction of acid with metal the metal oxide metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate to form the different products the remaining all chemical properties of acid we will discuss in the next session thank you everyone